guys, welcome to my virtual fitness studio. My name is Sarah, and you'll be working out with me on my microformer today. Happy Aloha Friday. It's a really great day today. It was raining all morning, and here I am, third time on my micro today. Today we'll be working out on our core, abs, obliques, and inner thighs, all my favorites in one class. So not a quite a full body, but my favorites in one, because today is Friday. So why not? We're gonna start with one black spring, so that's my suggestion. My beginners, two blacks, my advanced, one white. We'll do everything in the front, a set of inner thighs, obliques, and then we'll do another set in the back. So it's gonna look very similar, but from easy to hard. So abs to start, inner thighs, obliques, and another set in the back. All right, let's get started. So go find your own music today. Bring your own music playlist, and let's get started. One black spring is where I'm gonna be at. You're gonna go reverse wheel roll. In three, two, place your knees in the front platform, face the back, hands wide on that carriage, push your butt cheek forward, come down to a modified plank. So kneeling on your, uh, plank on your knees and start to move that carriage in and out. Getting our body warmed up here. Good. Plug the arms into the shoulder sockets, lift the chest up to the sky, keep the ears away from those shoulders. Good. Engage that core, navel into the spine, chin off that chest. Start to push that carriage out a little bit more here. Triceps, lats, core, all engaged. Good, breathe in, breathe out. Let's think about slow eight counts out, slow eight counts in. Let's go eight, slow, seven, six, five, four, three, two, bring it in for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, push it out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, bring it in for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, push it out. Let's go. Keep it slow, keep it strong right here. Hang tight right here. Keep contracting those abs, lifting those hips up. Do not sink into your shoulders. You're going to go to a high plank. In five, in four, in three, two, up on your toes, high plank. If you need more space, just walk your hands to that carriage. Heels high, option to modify it to come down to your knees, but start with your toes first. Try not to dump your weight into your wrist line, straighten up, plank the pike. In three, in two, lift those hips up, keep those heels high, look to the top of your ankle, and slowly lower down to that horizontal line. Good, exhale, lift up slow, two, and three, and four, back down slow, good. Breathe in, breathe out. Strong core here. Use all that core strength to lift those hips up and down. Good. You're initiating the move from that core. So as you lift up through those hips, drawing your navel to the spine, that's when you draw that carriage in. So less arms, more abs and hips right here, right? Your exhale, lifting up and slowly inhale, horizontal line right here. Chin off that chest. Holding in pike in five, four, three, two, lift, hold right here. Let's go to a mini push up, bend and lift, bend and lift. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, horizontal line in three, plank it out in two, one, plank right here. Mountain climbers, right knee and left knee in right here. Working on that flexibility, try to reach for those elbow, exhale, squeeze. You're going to cross those knees to that opposite. Elbows here, let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. On your knees and forearms, you're with the saw that carriage. In three, two, come down to your knees, forearms on that carriage, and extend the knees forward and push that carriage in and out. Squeeze through those biceps, lift the chest up. Good, push it out, slow two, slow three, slow four, back in, good. Nicely done right here. Oh, I'm feeling way better. If you guys took my last class, I did mention I had some kind of food poisoning two nights ago. Oh, I was so dead. I couldn't look at grapefruit again oh, the same way. It's one of my favorite fruits, so hopefully I can get over that because I have lots in my fridge right now. All right, push it out slow. I'm feeling way better now, so... You could probably tell my energy is high. All right, coming in up, 
to that cobra. In five, in four, three, two, up on your hands, hands over, hand grip right here, keep those elbows in, push it out like wheelbarrow until you can't go anymore, bend those elbows maybe a quarter way down, press and lift up. Good, push your abs, or lift your abs in, push out that carriage, maybe you come halfway, challenge yourself to go a little bit lower, challenge yourself to stay a little bit longer, guys. Usually your mind's gonna give up before your body does, so try to push through that. Push through that. You can do it. Also, the hardest part is to get it on your micro, so if you're on it, why not? Just do your best. Hold it down in three, two, all the way down, one inch up, one inch down, 10, nine, keep that chest open, eight, seven, if you have six, come up to a, in five, giant uh, reverse bear in four, in three, two hands wide on that carriage, up on your toes, push it out, exhale, bend out the knees and the hips, drag the carriage back, stop when the knees are underneath those hips and then push it back out again. Good, exhale, bring it in, draw through your lower abs, transverse abs, inhale, extend, elongate that torso, chin off that chest. Really press the chest up to the sky so you're not sinking, right? Keep the shoulders out of those ears. Halfway in, in five, in four, three right here, knee dips, lift up and down through those hips, use those abs, you have five, you're gonna turn your knees and hips towards the left side, in three, two right here, lift up and down, you have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, center through, right side lift, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, full range for that bear, reverse bear right here, you're gonna hold it halfway in, in five, halfway in, in four, Three, two, right here, bare barrel. Move that carriage in and out. Keep pressing the chest up to the sky so you're not dumping into your shoulders. You have 10, you have nine, eight, seven, six, giant reverse crunches in five, at the back, in four, in three, in two. All right, push yourself to the back. One white spring is actually easier at the back. So beginners, one white. If you don't have it, one black. Advanced, two blacks. I'm gonna stay with one black because let's go endurance right here. Send it out, long, modified plank right here. Before you move, you gotta dig your chin into your chest, round that spine so much, the carriage starts to come in, upper abs right here, and slowly out, slow, two, slow, three, slow, four, chin in, round it up. Slowly out, slow, two, three, four, exhale, really reach up, rounding up that spine, reach into your upper abs. Good, exhale, round, inhale, extend. Neck is long, spine is long. Slower you go, the harder this is going to feel. So challenge yourself to go super slow, working our endurance muscles here. Round it up, hold in five, in four, in three, two, round and hold, one inch out, one inch in. You have 10, nine, eight, seven, you got six, five, full range in four, in three, two, release slowly. Chin into your chest, round it up, exhale round. Inhale, elongate. Maybe shift your shoulders slightly behind those elbows. Good, you're gonna saw that carriage in eight, seven, you're gonna drop your hips, horizontal line, modified plank, in three, in two, shifting forward and back. Keep lifting the chest up to the sky. Nice, 10, nine, eight, seven, you have six, and five, come on up to that giant reverse wheelbarrow. In three, in two, hands to the side of that platform. Hips low, shift forward and back. Shifting through the shoulders, hinging through the shoulders. the chest up to the sky. Open up those knees if you want more stability, zip them up, activate those inner thighs if you want a little bit more challenge. Can you push it out to the front a little bit more right here? Nice, giant reverse bear, in eight, up on your toes, in seven, six, and five, four, three, two, toes. If you have the straps, go ahead, dig underneath those straps. If not, just put your toes on that carriage. 
Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, elongate, chin up. Look down and forward. Press the chest up to the sky so you're not sinking. Keep the ears away from the shoulders. Halfway in, in five, four, three, two, right here. Two inches up, two inches down. 10, nine, eight, seven. You have six and five, four, three, two, full range. Good, you have 10, nine, eight, seven. We're gonna move to the front in six, five, four, three, two, let it go. All right, we're gonna do our, we're gonna do our inner thighs in the front. I'm gonna have one black, advanced people, one white, beginners, two black springs. Standing up, right foot on the front platform, left foot on the carriage, slowly open up, shift the center of gravity with the carriage as you open up, standing inner thighs right here. Scoop and lift up, stand tall, get tall, shoulders stack over those hips, push your butt cheek forward, pull your abs in. Good. Concentrate on your center trunk, trunk right here. Even though we're working on our thighs, we're driving through the pelvic floor, working on that core. It's all connected right here in that center area of your body, right? A little bit hard to isolate in any workout, but there's primary muscles, secondary here, our primary movers, our inner thighs, and our secondary is our core. If you can take it up a notch, maybe take a wider step. If you need to modify, take it down the tension, narrow your stance, it's gonna be easier. Wider your stance, widen your stance to make it more challenging. Chin off that chest, look straight forward. Zip again, get taller, really squeeze through those inner thighs. Pull your butt cheek in together. Good. All right, we're gonna go wide squats in five, open wider than your hips in four, three, two, slight turnout in those toes, and you're gonna squat down. Sumo squats right here, push your butt cheek forward, stabilize through that core, freeze that carriage. Send your butt cheek back, open up those knees. Use those inner thighs to hold that carriage still. Good, you have 10, nine, eight, seven, six, side lunge in five, right foot stays in four, three, two, parallel your feet, right foot stays on the platform, tippy toes on the left in that corner, sink down, send your right butt cheek back, go super low, and then slowly lift up, zipping up through those inner thighs. So to make it a little bit easier, you just lean a little bit more on the right side. I want you to work towards shifting the center of gravity just toward that carriage a little bit. So I feel like my weight is around the M-I-C letter right here on your microformer. So it's not leaning over here on the platform, but a little bit away from that platform. Really stretch down through that left inner thigh, drop it up and zip it in. Good. Pull your abs in, keep that chest nice and wide, squeeze the shoulder blades in together so you're not slouching forward. Watch your posture, guys. Your posture, your form, your alignment is gonna drive that result. You're gonna get better results if you're watching your body position, right? Learn your body, learn how it feels. And if you have mirrors, utilize them to see what it looks like, right? If you don't, listen to my cues, right? Activate the upper body by squeezing the middle part of your back muscles, squeezing it together. Hold it down in five, four, three, two. Hold it down right here. Light skater here. Bring that carriage in. Slowly press it back out. Stabilize to that right side. Bend that right leg a little bit more. Make sure your right knee's behind the right toe line. Good. Scoot your butt, but, uh, booty back. So move your butt back so your weight's more in the heel. You're gonna feel this in the back of that right leg, inner thighs, outer thighs. Good, you have 10, nine, full range, in seven, in six, you're gonna send that left leg straight in five, four, three, two, straighten it out and li lift it up, full range of motion here. Good.
Hold it down in five, four, three, two. Hold it all the way down. Get as low as you can. Maybe you can touch the bars on that platform. Maybe not. Just reach for it. Extend that spine forward. You have 10. You have nine. Feel that stretch. You have eight, seven, six, five, four. We're on our knees in three, in two, kneeling in our thighs. So kneel down, right knee on the platform, left knee on that carriage. Push your butt cheek forward, stack tall, and push out. Zip it up. Feel like you're floating on two clouds, right? When you open up, try to avoid sinking down, right? Instead of a sideway movement, I want you to think about a vertical lift and keep that lift up as you even push that carriage out. Light on those knees. Slowly out, here we go. Open up a little bit more. So you're gonna do everything the same in the back. It's a little bit more challenging, but it's kind of nice because we never target our inner thighs for longer than a couple minutes in every class. So I like to change it up just sometimes. But it still feels really good because our favorite core and abs are still in this set. Good. Open up, hold in three, two, hold it up. Keep pushing your butt cheek forward, shoulders stack, one inch out, one inch in. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, bring it in. All right, we're gonna go to the back for reverse standing in our thighs to start. So one black is what I have. If you have a white spring, it's gonna be easier. So one black for my advanced people, one white for if you want a little less, level one, beginners. All right, we're gonna take our right foot to the back platform. If you have the pulley cables, you're gonna pull it in. So a couple things here before we move. One white spring is a lot doable if you don't have pulley cables. If you do not have pulley cables, it's gonna feel very hard, so you might need to just come down to your knees for a kneeling reverse in our thighs right you might have to modify and then you're gonna or you can bring your yeah that's that's what you're gonna do all right push your butt cheek forward shoulder stack squeeze it in push your butt cheek shoulder stack good long long legs firm through the quads pull up your kneecap so very, very important in the back because it's a lot more challenging. In the front, maybe you don't feel as much. If you're hyperflexing, you can really hurt your knee joints. So I really want you to firm the muscles around the kneecap by pulling through the kneecap, firming through the quads. You're gonna get more, you're gonna get more out of this exercise by really activating the muscles here on your legs. Push your butt cheek forward, shoulder is stacked, chin is up. You're gonna stop, stop halfway out in five, in four, in three, two, open so your feet are underneath those hips. You're gonna go into a light squats here, inner thigh squats. Make sure you're pushing your butt cheek back, putting your knees behind the toe lines. Press and lift up, hold onto your cables, but work on those inner thighs, right? Light on the hands, but use them as support. Hold it down in five, Four, three, two, hold it down right here. One inch up, one inch down. Use those inner thighs. Hold, center up right here. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, full range in five, four, three, two. Straighten up those legs. Push your butt cheek forward, straighten up those legs. All right, we're going giant side lunge. Wait for my cue. Your right foot's gonna stay on that platform. Those of you who do not have these cable for support, you're gonna take your right foot to the floor in front of you, in front of number four. It's gonna take that tension down a little bit so it's a lot more manageable. You're still gonna feel it, just makes the tension a lot more manageable. All right, you have five. We're going giant side lunge in four, in three, two. Shift your weight a little bit slightly towards that platform. You can be on your toe and set it up. I'm just gonna, so keep it there. I'm gonna show those of you who have, don't have a light spring. Bring your right foot in front of number four, and you're going side lunge. Right here, giant side lunge. 
Same as what we did in the front, but we're at the back now. Good. Feel that intensity. It feels a little bit different lead from the front. Just as good though, right? If you're with me there. All right, hang in there, guys. You got this. It's Friday. Put in the work so you can play all weekend. <laughs> it just kind of gave me some, um, reminded me of something. It's kind of funny that they call it a workout, like it's work. But if you're having fun with it, it shouldn't be work, right? At least you should find something that works for you. Uh, you're having fun while working out. This is not make, if this is not fun for you, find something else, right? There's many, many ways to make your body feel good. It doesn't have to be a degree. I mean, maybe it is. And if you're on the channel, I hope you do enjoy Legree, with me at least. All right, hold it down in five, four, three, two, hang in there. Send your butt cheek back a little bit more. Extend that spine. So arch that back a little bit, one inch up, one inch down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, light skaters, three, and two right here. Exhale, pull it in. Use the support of that pulley cable if you need it, and slowly send it out. Exhale, in. Inhale, extend. Good. Can you shift the center of gravity just slightly toward number four? That makes it a little bit harder. Good. Eight, seven, six, full range in five, in four, three, two, extend that leg and slowly lift up. Awesome job, guys. One more set of inner thighs. You're gonna come down to your knees. This might be my favorite inner thighs move. Reverse kneeling inner thighs in seven, Six, right knee's gonna come down in five, four, three, two. On both of your knees, you're gonna push your butt cheek forward and then push it out. If you got your dumbbells by your side, grab them. If not, focus on those inner thighs. We're gonna add a rotator's curl. Push your butt cheek forward, shoulders stacked, chin up. Bicep curl. Or you can just hold, right? Lateral raise. Combo moves. Push your butt cheek forward. Stay light on those knees. Hold it out. In three, two right here, one inch up, one inch down. Keep lifting upward, driving through that pelvic floor. You have eight, seven, four range, six, and five, and four, and three, two full range. Good. 10, 9, 8, 7. You have 6 and 5, 4, 3, 2. Let it go. Come to the front. One white for my advance, one black. Everyone, two black for my beginners. We got Twister right here. Hands on the front platform. Right foot comes in front of your left toe to heel. Turn your hips, hips and knees toward the left side. Exhale, squeeze up. Inhale, extend. Knuckles are turned down, straighten those wrist line and push the chest up to the sky. So you leave, keep the weight off those wrist line. Exhale, lift. Remember, not important to bring that carriage all the way in, right? I don't need you to bring this carriage all the way in. I just need to focus on activating those obliques, your right side of your abs. Good. Keep that chest uplifting. You're working your triceps, you're holding your lats. Upper back's working. Exhale, lift. Good. 15 more. Then we're gonna go into corkscrew. You're gonna keep your feet where they are. Pull the knees into the left elbow. 10, nine, eight, hold on still. In six, five, four, three, two, lift up. Squeeze that left knees into the left elbow. Keep those right hips lifting up. Inhale, extend, elongate that torso. Chin off that chest. Good. Keep it up, guys. You're doing so great here. Do not hold out here. Halfway in. In five, four, three right here. Two inches up, two inches down. Lift those hips up. Eight, seven, six. Side crunch in five. On your knees and forearms. In three, in two. Come on down. Stack or stagger your knees. 
forearms down. It's just like a reverse crunch in the back, but we're in the front. Send that carriage out. Open up those hip line. Chin into your chest. Round and bring it in. Good. This is easy for you. If you want a little extra challenge, single leg right here. Lift up the top leg. Open up. Exhale, lift up. So lightweight on the top leg, right? Good. We're coming up to our hands for a side cobra. In five, four, three, two. Overhand grip on that front bar. Narrow your elbows. Biceps are pushing forward, right? And you're staggered or staffed. Out the, your knees are staggered or staffed. You're going to send it out like a wheelbarrow. Come down. Bend those elbows. Press and lift up. I know this is not a full body, but we're going to get our arms engaged whenever we can. So all these core moves need to be supported by our upper body. So arms are always engaged, even when we're not isolating them. Good. Press and lift up. Chest through those straight arms. All right. One more oblique move for Nighthawk. So try to start with your toes. And if it's too much, maybe halfway through, you can come down to your knees. All right, you have five. Side plank to start. In four, in three, two, right forearm down. Stack or stagger your legs. Lift, push your butt cheek forward, push your hips through, chest is open. Right here, lift out of that right shoulder, your right ear's away, right shoulder. We're gonna thread the needle and pull the knees in at the same time for that night hawk. In three, in two, exhale, pull. Squeeze, turn your body. Give yourself a nice big hug and slowly open up. Exhale, slowly rotate. Inhale, extend, lifting that right hip up. Not here for long. You got it. Hang in there. Chin off that chest. Squeeze. And if you want to come down to your knees, go ahead. Nice. Here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven. You have six. Five, four, three, two, come on down. We're gonna do everything on the left side once more. All right, stand up. Stand the inner thigh, left foot on that front platform, right foot center carriage, push your butt cheek forward, shoulder stack, chin up. Stand nice and tall, be proud, right here. Wide chest, collarbones nice and wide. Slowly open, extend that legs out. Zip up through those Inner thighs, pull up through the kneecap, work those quads, work those glutes, right? I know this is an inner thighs move, but there's a lot of muscles going on down there and in the center, right? Lift upwards. Shoulder stack, chin up. Oh, I'm thirsty. Such an amazing day outside. Makes me so happy. Blue skies, white clouds, what else can you, what more can you ask for? All right, you're gonna parallel your feet in five, in four, stop with the feet underneath those hips in three, two right here, parallel your feet. Lower down for those inner thigh squats. Hold it right here. We're gonna do something different. I want you to work through the arch of the feet by lifting up to your tippy toes and then dropping down. Right, maybe two inches up and then lower. You gotta use that core to stabilize. S squeeze through that core. Lift up two inches, maybe a little bit higher. Roll through that feet, roll through the arch of your feet. Come up to the balls of your feet. Your kneecaps are about above those toe lines here. You're gonna hold those heels up in three, two, hold it up right here. Option to keep those heels down, hold it right here. Keep the weight in the back of those legs, pulse up and down. Right here, light squats. 10, nine, eight, seven, I'm shaking two, six, you got this. In five, four, three, two, drop your heels, fold inner thigh squats, down and up. Open up that carriage a little bit more. 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, 
five, four, three, two, side lunge, tippy toe, left foot on that carriage to that back corner, shift the center of gravity with that carriage a little bit, stretching down our right inner thighs, feel that stretch, get nice and low right here, keep that chest open, and exhale, lift up, squeeze through that pelvic floor, keep those heels high, right heels high, dig into that left heel, when you sit, go into that single leg squat, your left knee's behind the toe line here. Good. Both my toes are all facing forward. Good. Go super slow right here. Send down that weight to the back of that left leg. Hold it down in five, four, three, two. Down and hold right here, one inch up, one inch down. You have eight, seven, six, five, flat skaters in four, three, two right here. Bend that right knee, meet the left and send it back out. Hold that left side still. If you want a little more intensity, just shift it to toward the carriage. Good. Good, you have eight, seven, six. Hold the halfway in in five, four, three, two right here, two inches up, two inches down, light squats here. 10, nine, eight, full range in seven, six, five, Four, three, two, send that right leg out first and then zip it up. Full range, side lunge here. Good. We're gonna come down to our kneeling inner thighs. It's good for our transition, good for recovery. Gonna slow our heart rate down just slightly so that we could get to the back and do another set in five, four, three, two, on both knees. Push your butt cheek forward, stack your shoulders and hips, slowly open up. Keep the collarbones nice and wide. Keep the shoulders down away from those ears. Navel to the spine, lock it there. Lift. Open, open, open. Lift, 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 bring it in. How are you guys feeling? Give me a thumbs up, give me a shaka, give me a like. I hope you guys are enjoying this workout because I really like it. All right, energize through those inner thighs. Got here, you got it right here. You're gonna hold a half flare. We're gonna do something different in three, two right here. Knees underneath those hips. You're gonna hold those inner thighs still. Send your glutes back to the heels. Press your shin down and then push your butt cheek forward right here. Down and up a hip thrust here. I know it sounds interesting, but this is a real move. We're just holding those inner thighs, pushing your butt cheek forward and back. Squeeze through those glutes. Work on those glutes, guys, I know. A little bit of glutes won't hurt ya. I know it's an inner thighs focus class, but just a little extra here. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's go to the back. Same thing here. One white's gonna be the easiest. Otherwise, stay on that black. Use the pulley cable. If you don't have the pulley cable, if you don't have the pulley cable or the white spring, just start with your kneeling inner thighs. Standing up. Narrow your feet, stands here, push your butt cheek forward, parallel your feet, open up, zip it up. Shoulder blades over those hips, open up, bring it in. Push your butt cheek forward, shoulders back, shoulders down, chin up. Watch your form and posture here. Squeeze the middle part of your back muscles, your shoulder blades together. Really lift through that pelvic floor. Shoulders down away from those ears. Good, firm through those quads, right? Protecting your knee joints. Open up a little 
little bit wider than your hips in three, two right here. Let's go squats. You can turn out your toes for sumo squats right here. Extend that spine, keep the shoulder blades back. Shift the center of gravity towards the back of those legs. Knees are behind the toes. All glutes right here, glutes and inner thighs. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, full range. Straighten up those legs, zip it up through those inner thighs. Push your butt cheek forward. We have giant side lunge. Keep your left foot where it is. Coming up on our right toes. In five, in four, in three, two. All right, right toes back. Single leg right here. Shift the center of, re center of gravity behind you. Open up that leg. You can lean over to the left side for more security right here. You're gonna have more support as you lean over to the left side, right? Because the carriage is pulling you towards the front. My advanced people, maybe you can shift the center of gravity a little bit towards the carriage. Foot as you move down. Same thing here. Left knee behind the left toe line. Really sink into that left side lunge. So single leg squat right here. Extend that spine right. So your chest is gonna naturally come forward as you send your butt back. But it's not, you're not gonna purposefully just drop your chest. So I want you to naturally shift the chest forward as you shift your glutes back. Hold it down in five, in four, in three, to hold it down, one inch up, one inch down. 10, nine, eight, zip it up through those inner thighs. Feel that stretch, feel that stretch down that right side. Five, four, light skaters in three, two right here, hang on tight right here. Just bend that right knee to meet the left, send it back out. Get a little bit lower on the left butt cheek. Pull your abs in, stick out your booty. 10, nine, you have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, light squats. Center your weight between the legs. You can be on that right tippy toe. Eight, seven, six, full range in five, in four, three, two, push it out, zip it up, nice and slow. Nicely done, guys. All right, kneeling in our thighs, last move here. I hope you're cheering, because I am too. All right, kneeling down in five, in four, three, two, bring that carriage all the way in, come on down to your right knee, your left knee. Grab your dumbbells. If you want, if you have them, push your butt cheek, why not? Tricep extension. Push your butt cheek forward, zip it up through those inner thighs. Shoulders out of those ears as you lift those dumbbells up. Get taller. Stay tall as you bring that carriage out. Chin off that chest. You can do any arm variation. If you don't have dumbbells, you could do them without, right? Like arm circles. Make sure you breathe. Halfway on, three, two, halfway out, one inch in, one inch out, 10, nine, eight, seven, last set, full range, in three, in two, full range right here. Open up, open up, lift it in, lift it in. Good, 10, nine, eight, seven, you have six, and five at the front, in four, in three, in two, all right, Amy at the front. Same thing here, two blacks, my beginners, one white, my advance. Stay on one black, if you're with me. Hands on the front, twister, left foot in front of your right, left in front of your right. Turn your hips and knees towards your right elbow, your right side. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower, extend. Same thing here, knuckles down, straighten up that wrist line. No weight into that wrist. Absorb the weight into your shoulder sockets, your lats are engaged, upper backs engaged. Exhale, squeeze, left oblique, left side of your abs is your focus here. Squeeze through those inner thighs, right? A little bit of inner thighs here. Inhale, extend, exhale, lift, squeeze. Elongate, keep the chest over that platform. If you want a little bit more, you can bring your shoulder slightly behind the wrist, right? Corkscrew, corkscrew. 
knees to the right elbows in five right elbow in four three two right here keep the left hip lifting up squeeze in inhale extend your long beach and off that chest keep looking down and forward hang in there halfway in in eight in seven six and five four three two halfway two inches up two inches down ten nine eight seven six five four three two come on down to that side crunch forearms down stack or stagger your knees open up right here to the side exhale round it up squeeze through the left obliques you're gonna have the top of the leg extend so a single leg right here or just lightly place that top of the leg on top of the left so light leg pressure exhale squeeze feel the left obliques inhale extend Good. Exhale, lift. Really initiate the move from the squeezing of the oblique. The carriage just comes in because you're squeezing upwards, right? It's not, you're not just moving the hips and move that carriage in and out. You're really, really squeezing, lifting through that oblique. All right, we're gonna go into that side cobra, twist the cobra in five, in four, up on your hands, in three, in two, keep those knees there, Overhand grip, elbows are in, biceps are forward. Go back like a wheelbarrow until you can't go. Bend those elbows maybe a quarter way down. Arms straight, chest through those straight arms. Pull your abs in. Your hips are slight, your hips are turned towards the right side still. Keep, keep the shoulders, keep the shoulders away from those ears or find length between shoulders and ears. All right, we got that night hawk coming up. We're gonna set up first with a side plank. Start on your toes, modify onto your knees. You just gotta try it. You're not far from the ground, so you can't fall very far. You have five, four, three, two. Down on your forearm, left forearm down, stack or stagger your legs. I'm gonna have them stack. You're gonna open up, push your butt cheek forward, shoulders on top, hips on top of each other. All right, night hawk, let's go. Squeeze, give yourself a nice big hug, pull your knees into towards the front, and then slowly open up. Exhale, squeeze, give yourself a nice big hug, and then inhale, slowly open. Keep lifting up, so pressing your forearms down, lift the shoulders upwards so you're not sinking into that left shoulders. Watch your form, guys. All right, counting down soon. Stay with me here. This is the last of it. You got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, wheelbarrow, and 3, 2, Come on down to your knees, hands wide on that front platform, down on your hips, modified plank right here. Open, separate your knees if you need more support, zip them up if you want to add a little more challenge. Good. Knuckles down, straighten up that wrist line. All right, I want you to come down to your plank. This time on your forearms, it's going to be very ab heavy. Just have a couple minutes left in class. You gotta push through everything that's left in you and we'll finish off strong together. In five, forearms down, in four, in three, two forearms down, up on your toes. Know that you can always come down to your knees after you try on your toes. Hold it right here, lift the chest up, squeeze through those biceps. You can put your palms together or you can separate. I don't care what you do, you just gotta wash your form. No arch in that low back, you gotta lift those hips up. Exhale, pike it up. Lift up through your hips, lift through your abs, inhale, lower. Exhale, bend the knees in. Combo moves here. Bear, plank to pike, to bear. Exhale, pike. Inhale, lower. Exhale, bear. Good, inhale, plank. Exhale, pike. Look to the top of your ankle. Good, contract. Knees in your chest, round that spine just a little bit to move your knees in. You have eight, seven, six, five, final hold. In four, plank hold in three. If you're on your knees, come up to your toes. In two, let's go hold. Final 10, nine, lift it up. Eight, seven, lift it up a little more. Six, five, child's pose in four. You gotta earn it. In three, two, and open up your knees. Sink back for your child's pose. Keep your shoulders down, extend those arms. You can push that carriage out. Take a deep inhale to the lower back. 
Exhale, release it all. One more time, take a deep inhale. Exhale, melt that belly through the thighs. Coming up to your toes, hang your head side to side. Let's feel that stretch to those inner thighs. Bend that right knee, bend that left knee. So side lunge, side to side to stretch out those inner thighs. Hang your head, put your hands on that carriage. If you can go a little bit deeper, reach for your toes. Feel the back leg stretch. Roll up one vertebrae at a time. Take a deep inhale, reach up to the sky. Exhale, baby back bend. Ooh, I'm sweating so much. Good job, guys. Happy Friday. I will see you guys next time. Bye.